What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're heading over to Central Asia, a region I've been absolutely exploring lately. We're about to touch down in Uzbekistan, a country that's bursting with history, culture, and some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. I'm talking about ancient cities, incredible architecture, vibrant bazaars, and landscapes that'll blow your mind. Get ready to be amazed as we dive into the top places you absolutely to visit in Uzbekistan. Plus, I'm giving you all my best travel tips along the way so you can plan your own epic adventure. All right, guys, first up, we're in Samarkand, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in Central Asia. This place is like a time capsule. We're talking about a city that was a major hub on the Silk Road and it's bursting with UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Trust me, you're going to want to have your cameras ready because the architecture here is absolutely mind-blowing. You've got the Registan Square, which is like the heart of Samarkand. Seriously, this place is breathtaking, especially at sunset. The way the light hits those turquoise domes and intricate tilework is just unreal. Next, we're going to check out the Shah-e Zinda which is a complex of mausoleums with the most vibrant and detailed tile work I've ever seen. It's like stepping into a fairy tale, and no trip to Samarkand would be complete without visiting the Guri Amir Mausoleum. This masterpiece of Timurid architecture is the tomb of Timur, the founder of the Timurid Empire, and it's absolutely breathtaking. Trust me, Samarkand is going to be a highlight of your Uzbekistan trip. Next stop, we're heading to Bukhara, another incredible city on the Silk Road. This place is like a living museum with ancient mosques, minarets, and madrasas around every corner. You can literally feel the history here. One of the coolest things about Bukhara is how well-preserved everything is. It's like stepping back in time, wandering through the narrow alleyways and stumbling upon hidden courtyards. The Poi Kalyan complex is a must-see. It's home to the Kalyan Minaret, which is this towering structure that dominates the skyline. And if you're looking for some peace and quiet, Head to the Layabi House complex. It's a peaceful oasis centered around a pond, and it's the perfect place to relax and soak up the atmosphere. Don't forget to spend some time getting lost in the bazaars. It's a sensory overload in the best possible way, with the smells of spices, the sounds of vendors hawking their goods, and the vibrant colors of Uzbek textiles. Guys, Kiva's like something out of a storybook. Seriously, this ancient city is an UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's so well preserved that it feels like you've stepped back in time. Inside the city walls you'll find a maze of narrow streets, stunning mosques, minarets and madrasas, all built from mud brick and decorated with intricate tilework. One of the coolest things about Kiva is that you can actually climb to the top of some of the minarets for incredible views over the city. Trust me, it's worth the climb. And as you wander through the streets, make sure you check out the Islam Koja Minaret and Madrasa. It's one of the most impressive examples of Islamic architecture in Kiva, and the tile work is absolutely stunning. Don't forget to spend some time exploring the workshops and studios within the city walls. You can find artisans creating traditional Uzbek crafts like carpets, ceramics, and miniature paintings. It's the perfect place to pick up a unique souvenir. All right, guys. Now let's fast forward to the present day in Tashkent, Uzbekistan's modern capital city. Tashkent might not have the ancient history of Samarkand, Bukhara, or Kiva, but don't underestimate it. This city is a fascinating blend of old and new, with Soviet-era architecture sitting alongside gleaming skyscrapers and traditional mosques. One of my favorite things to do in Tashkent is just wander around and soak up the atmosphere. Check out the Chorsu Bazaar, one of the largest and most vibrant markets in Central Asia. You can find everything here from spices and dried fruits to traditional clothing and souvenirs. And speaking of souvenirs, don't forget to pick up some Suzani, which are these beautifully embroidered textiles that are unique to Uzbekistan. For a dose of culture, head to the Amir Timur Museum. It's dedicated to the life and legacy of the famous conqueror, and it's housed in this stunning building that's a work of art in itself. Next up, we're heading about 80 kilometers south of Samarkand to Shari Sabz, the birthplace of Amir Timur, the founder of the Timurid Empire. This place is steeped in history, and you can feel Timur's presence everywhere you go. The main attraction here is the ruins of Timur's summer palace, Aksaray Palace. Even though it's in ruins, you can still get a sense of how grand and impressive it would have been in its heyday. Just imagine the lavish feasts and celebrations that must have taken place here. 
Another must-see is the Dora Tilavat complex, which includes the Kok Gumbaz Mosque and the tomb of Timur's father. The mosque is known for its massive turquoise dome, which dominates the skyline of Sharisabs, and for the best views over the city, head up to the hills surrounding Sharisabs. You'll get a panoramic view of the ruins of Timur's summer palace, the Kok Gumbaz Mosque, and the surrounding countryside. It's the perfect way to end your visit to this historical city. All right, guys, get ready for a change of scenery as we head to the Fergana Valley, a lush and fertile region in eastern Uzbekistan. Surrounded by mountains, the Fergana Valley is like a green oasis in the middle of Central Asia, and it's been a major center of agriculture and silk production for centuries. Trust me, you'll be blown away by the beauty of this place. One of the best ways to experience the Fergana Valley is to visit a silk factory. You can learn about the traditional process of silk production from the silkworms to the finished product, and of course, you can even buy some beautiful silk scarves or carpets to take home as souvenirs. While you're in the Fergana Valley, make sure you spend some time exploring the cities of Fergana, Andijan, and Namangan. Each city has its own unique charm and character, and you'll find plenty of opportunities to experience Uzbek hospitality and culture. This next destination is a somber one, guys. We're heading to the Aral Sea, or what's left of it. Once the fourth largest lake in the world, the Aral Sea has shrunk dramatically over the past few decades due to unsustainable cotton farming practices during the Soviet era. It's a stark reminder of the devastating impact humans can have on the environment. But even though it's a tragic story, it's important to learn about what happened here. You can visit the former port city of Minak, which is now a ghost town stranded in the desert, miles from the receding shoreline. It's a surreal and eerie experience, but it's also a powerful reminder of the importance of environmental conservation. While you're in Minak, make sure you visit the ship graveyard. It's a collection of rusting ships that were once part of the Aral Sea fishing fleet, now beached in the desert. It's a haunting sight, but it's also a testament to the resilience of the people who once called this region home. All right, guys, let's get our adrenaline pumping with a trip to the Chimgan Mountains, a popular destination for hiking, skiing, and just getting back to nature. Located just outside of Tashkent, the Chimgan Mountains offer a welcome escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. During the summer months, you can go hiking or trekking through the mountains, enjoying the fresh air and stunning views. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even go rock climbing or mountain biking. In the winter, the Chimgon Mountains transform into a winter wonderland, perfect for skiing, snowboarding, and snowmobiling. There are a variety of slopes for all levels, so whether you're a seasoned pro or a first-time skier, you're sure to have a blast. And after a day of exploring the mountains, you can relax in one of the many guest houses or resorts in the area. Get ready to explore the Narada Mountains, a hidden gem in Uzbekistan that's full of ancient secrets and natural wonders. Located in the western part of the country, the Narada Mountains are home to stunning landscapes, ancient petroglyphs, and natural springs that are said to have healing powers. One of the coolest things about the Narada Mountains is the petroglyphs, which are ancient rock carvings that date back thousands of years. You can find them scattered throughout the mountains and they offer a fascinating glimpse into the lives and beliefs of the people who once lived here. And if you're looking for a truly unique experience, make sure you visit the Chalustan Springs. These natural springs are said to have healing powers, and people come from all over Uzbekistan to bathe in their waters. The Narada Mountains are also home to a variety of wildlife, including birds, ibex, and even snow leopards. So keep your eyes peeled and you might just spot some of these elusive creatures. Our final adventure in Uzbekistan takes us to Iderkul Lake, a serene oasis in the Kizilkum Desert. This lake was accidentally created in the 1980s as a result of irrigation projects, and it's now a haven for wildlife and a popular destination for camping, fishing, and birdwatching. One of the best things to do at Iderkul Lake is to simply relax and soak up the tranquility. The lake is surrounded by sand dunes and desert landscapes, making it the perfect place to escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. You can go swimming in the lake, sunbathe on the shore, or just relax in a hammock and listen to the sounds of the desert wind. If you're feeling more active, you can go for a hike in the surrounding desert, go bird watching, or even try your hand at fishing. The lake is home to a variety of fish species including carp, catfish, and pike perch. 
and as the sun sets, the sky above Eiderkul Lake explodes in a kaleidoscope of colors, making it the perfect spot for stargazing. With no light pollution for miles around, you'll be treated to breathtaking views of the Milky Way and countless stars. So there you have it guys, my top picks for the best places to visit in Uzbekistan, plus some essential travel tips to help you plan your own adventure. Uzbekistan is a country that truly exceeded my expectations. From the ancient cities of Samarkand, Bukhara, and Kiva to the stunning natural beauty of the Fergana Valley and the Nurata Mountains, Uzbekistan has something to offer every traveler. I hope this video has inspired you to add Uzbekistan to your travel bucket list. And if you have any questions about traveling to Uzbekistan, feel free to leave them in the comments below.